Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, can IntelliJ IDEA be configured to break on exceptions in unit tests that lets the test fail? Here's a quick overview of the problem. Our viewer wants the debugger in IntelliJ to stop right at the point where any exception occurs in the tested code, allowing them to inspect the issue. However, they face challenges because Junit catches exceptions, making it difficult to set breakpoints effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully you get through that resolution. So let's continue on. To configure IntelliJ IDEA to break on exceptions in unit tests, we need to set up an exception breakpoint. This will allow us to inspect the state of our application when an exception occurs. Next, we want to specify the type of exceptions we want to break on. In this case, we are interested in arithmetic exceptions that are thrown during our tests. However, we need to refine our breakpoint settings. Since Junit catches exceptions, we will add a filter to avoid breaking on exceptions caught by Junit. Now let's test our configuration. Run your Junit tests and observe the behavior. The debugger should stop at the point where the arithmetic exception is thrown in the test method. If everything is set up correctly, you should be able to inspect the state of your application right at the point of failure, allowing you to debug effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You can configure IntelliJ IDEA to break on exceptions in unit tests by adding a filter. This filter checks if the stack trace includes your package. While this may slow down execution, it won't stop for initialization exceptions that don't affect the test. The breakpoint will only trigger if the exception involves your classes, allowing you to focus on relevant issues during testing. For a visual reference, here's an example of how to set up the condition for the breakpoint. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To configure IntelliJ IDEA to break on exceptions in unit tests, you need to set it to stop on both caught and uncaught exceptions specifically for Junit. This way, only exceptions caught by Junit will trigger the debugger. You may encounter similar issues with application servers like Tomcat, which also catch exceptions. In that case, you can filter the catch class by Tomcat packages. For reference, here's a screenshot of the IntelliJ breakpoint settings you can use. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
to configure IntelliJ IDEA to break on exceptions in JUnit tests, first set a Java exception breakpoint for assertion error. Then debug a failing test which will pause execution inside assertion.java. You can navigate to your test in the debugger to inspect variables and evaluate expressions. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can configure IntelliJ IDDA to break on exceptions in JUnit tests by using catch class filters. Simply specify a class within JUnit where exceptions are caught. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To configure IntelliJ IDEA to break on exceptions in JUnit tests, set a breakpoint for any exception. Use a catch class filter for org.junit.runners.stro and exclude org.junit. to avoid JUnit's internal exceptions. Additionally, it's helpful to set an unconditional breakpoint on caught and uncaught assertion errors. This allows you to inspect local variables when an assertion fails. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.